friends here are going to draw a guitar player. Yeah, we're going to draw a mariachi guitar player. We hope you're going to follow along with us. You need something to draw with, some paper, and... Something to color with. Yeah, at the very end. All right, you ready to start? Yeah. Let's first draw his face. Right, right here in the middle of our paper, I'm going to draw a line. We're going to draw him singing, too. So right, right about here. Then we're gonna draw, oh yeah, you could draw a little wider. There you go. And then we're gonna draw a U shape underneath. Yeah, and then we can draw teeth at the top, a line across the top, and also make a line across the bottom for his bottom teeth. And we could also draw his tongue inside. Next, we could draw his nose. I'm gonna draw a uh, oval right here. And we could also draw his eyes. I'm going to draw them closed because he's, he's really singing loud. There you go, little curves. Yeah, we could also give him a mustache. I'm going to draw a curve that comes down. And then we're going to come back up to the middle of his nose. And then let's do the same thing on the other side. Curve down and then back up to the middle of his nose. All right, now let's color in his mustache. Now let's draw the shape of his head. We'll start here on the left side of his eye. We're gonna come down like this and then we're gonna come back up on the other side. Big letter U. And then let's draw an upside down U to connect the top of his head. Okay, now let's draw his ears. I'm gonna draw the letter C and a backward C. Now let's draw his sombrero. We're going to start here on the side right below his ear and we're going to draw a curve that comes up on the left and then we'll do the same thing over here on the right. Now let's connect these two lines for the rest of the sombrero. We're going to go over, come back down and connect. Did a huge one. Yeah, I love it. It's awesome. They're really big hats, so that's perfect. Now let's draw that same line going across the top. So I'm going to start here on this side, but watch, we're going to come out of this, the outside shape, and then we're going to get further away towards the middle. And then on this side, I'm going to come back down and then connect back in. So it gets really thin on the edges or at the end. There you go. <laughs> Good job. All right, now we can draw the pattern in between these two lines. Let's add a cool design. I'm going to draw a zigzag line that goes all the way across. Now this part we're going to speed up, but if you guys need extra time, you can pause the video. Let's also give him eyebrows. I'm going to draw a line that goes over his left eye. And then let's make it thicker. We're going to draw another curve that goes over, across, and then back down. And let's do the same thing on this side. Line that goes over. Yeah, just like that. And then let's draw another line that goes over and makes his eyebrow thicker. All right, now we're ready to draw his guitar. Let's draw a circle right below his chin. So we're going to draw a circle about this size. Then we're going to draw two lines coming out to the side. We're going to start at the top of that circle, come out to the right. Then let's draw another line that matches that starts at the bottom of that circle and comes out. Good. Then we can connect the end. And let's also draw the end of our guitar. We're going to draw two lines that come out, one on the top and the bottom. And they're, they look more diagonal instead of parallel. Okay, and then we can connect those two lines together. Then we're going to draw a line that starts right here next to the circle. And we're going to curve up and then to the left. And then we're going to do another one that curves down and also to the left. You can do the curve up at the top and then a curve down at the bottom. Okay, now let's draw the rest. I'm going to come across like this, down, and then back in. I love how big your guitar is. <laughs> it looks so cool. Now let's draw a rectangle shape just to the left of the circle. So I'm going to draw a line first. You can draw it, right? I'll give you two points right here. Yeah. And then let's draw two short lines. 
coming out to the left, and then connect those two short lines. Now we have his head and also his guitar, but his guitar looks like it's floating. Yeah. Let's, let's draw his body next. We're gonna draw two lines coming down from his chin and connecting to his body. Then we're gonna draw his legs down here. We're gonna draw, we're gonna imagine them going, so this line going behind the guitar, coming out and coming down further for his leg. Yeah, let's do the same thing for this line. We're gonna imagine it coming through the guitar or behind the guitar and coming down. I'm gonna do the same over here, draw my other leg. Now let's draw the inside of his leg. We're gonna draw two points. We're gonna leave a little space. Yes, that's for his ankles. Now we're gonna come up and then back down for the inside of his legs. Okay, now let's draw his ankles or the bottom of his pants. And we could draw his shoes. I'm gonna draw a curve that comes out on the left. And then we're gonna curve back up and connect to the inside. Yes, and then we'll do the same on the right. Curve out and then back in. What are we missing, Oz? His arms. His arms, yeah. Let's draw one arm coming out to the side. Maybe he just finished doing a big, huge note on the guitar. We're gonna come out to the side, and then we're gonna draw another line coming out below it for the other side of his arm. And we'll draw a line connecting. Let's draw another line for his white shirt underneath his jacket. Next, let's draw his hand. We'll first draw his thumb. Let's draw a small upside down U in the top of his arm. And then we're gonna draw a big sideways U shape or a C, the letter C. Then let's add two lines for his fingers. One, two. <laughs> Okay, now let's draw his other arm. We're gonna draw it hanging onto his guitar. So first we're gonna come down and connect to the side. Then we're right here, we're gonna draw the letter V. We'll go down and then back up. And then let's draw an upside down U for his hand hanging onto his guitar. Yeah, and then we can draw two lines for the fingers on his hand. We still need to add one more important thing to our guitar. What is it missing? The strings. Yeah, we need to add the strings. Let's start here and we'll draw, we're gonna draw a couple lines. I'm just gonna, let's just draw them all the way to the end. And I'm just gonna add three to keep it simple, but there's more than three strings on the guitar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can draw them all the way to the end if you want. Okay, and then we're gonna imagine those three lines coming through and connecting all the way to the rectangle shape. Yeah, and I'm gonna do another one, right down the middle, and then the last one. Now, if you want, you could add more strings, but let's leave it just like that. We still need to do one more thing to our drawing. My favorite part, what is it? Color it. Yeah, this part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video to match the same color. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Austin, you did it. You finished coloring your mariachi player. He looks so awesome. And he looks like he's really getting into his music. Yeah. He's an awesome guitar player. Now you can pause the video right now to match the same coloring. You could also color your drawings any way you want. You could add more decorations on his guitar. Leave more people back here. Yeah, you could draw more people in the band, in the mariachi band. You could draw a trumpet player or even a violin player. Yeah. We hope you have a lot of fun drawing your mariachi player. Yeah, you said it. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mariachi is kind of challenging to say, huh? Yes. <laughs> yeah, we hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.